Greetings and welcome to the modeling bench. <coughs> A few days late at the end of January, actually into February. February. Yeah, I said that right. So, yeah, uh, January. I did all the things I said I was going to do. Not. Uh, I believe in the last update video I said I was going to not start any new kits except for maybe one. And then work only on previously started kits, and I did none of that. I finished uh, zero kits, and I kind of started a bunch, a bunch of new kits. And uh, the only thing I actually had previously started that I was working on this month was the. Uh, Yak Panzer. Um, I did the painting and decal, decaling, decaling on that thing. And uh, there's a video coming out. Hopefully not too late of this, but uh, it keeps getting attacked by my kids, so it's not looking as good as it should. But um, yeah, it's just extra battle damage, I guess. So. Well, that's that, and uh, I was feeling kind of bored one night and annoyed, so I uh, started this 148 scale Tamiya F F B F 109, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, worked on it a little bit until I felt guilty for not working on the Egg Panzer, so I went back to working on the Egg Panzer, and. Excuse me if my sound is fluctuating. Another night, I was feeling kind of bored, and all my projects were uh, in some sort of painting stage and filming stage. So I just really felt like just gluing something. So I started this Academy 135th scale Stuck 4. And uh, yeah, it's. It was a relaxing, nice build with a lot of flash. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's what it is. And uh, it's going, coming together pretty nicely and uh, will hopefully be. Uh, what do you say? I will hopefully continue working on it pretty soon, but as for now, I had actually packed it back in the box and put it aside because it was just a time filler for me and then a hel helicopter group build started and I'm also making a video for that and um, I'm building a uh, MI 28N Havoc for that and I have it fighting out moving the Everything. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's really professional going on here. But uh, yeah, this is how far I am at, I'm at with that build. It's a Revel kit. It is uh, one seventy second scale, obviously. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, it has some putty on it, but uh, you'll see it in the video. I'm actually quite enjoying it. It is. Uh, it's going to be a lovely little little, little weird looking <coughs> helicopter. It's not the prettiest. And then the uh, group build where I was building the Twin Otter that I had made videos of uh, last year. I was looking at the Twin Otter and I'm... Yeah, I'm not gonna... I'm not, I was thinking about shooting it with my shotgun at first, but uh, I've come down from that. And uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of thinking about finishing it pretty, pretty soon. But um, since there were only like two weeks left of the group build now... Uh, I thought I wouldn't make it with the Twin Otter, so I went and here's the transition into the other segment where I show you guys what I bought. I went to the model store and did something I thought I would, would not do in a long time, and uh, I bought a boat. Boat. Uh, the Battleship Yamato in 1 1200 scale. It was just too cheap not to get it. And at least try it, because it's literally the most simple ship kit you could ever get. 
It is 33 pieces. This is the only sprue that you get. And what's missing from the sprue is the hull and the upper deck, which I have here. I have painted the upper deck. If you watch the the live stream the other night, that's when I was actually building this. And I did this all on stream. And that's the new feature that's in my news segment. Is there any new segment of this? But um, yeah, this is actually I'm quite excited about this, and I haven't been excited about boat building for a long time, ever, to be precise. But yeah, since I got this new camera, this is the new camera, the first video of the new camera, besides the live stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, the new camera is a webcam, so it's directly con connected to my computer over there. And uh, yeah, live streams are gonna happen, I guess. Uh, the first test stream was uh, successful. Got a couple of guys uh, watching it and letting me know how the sound was and stuff. And uh, it's actually up on the, uh, on my channel right now. So if you want to watch it, you watch it. It's an hour long though. But uh, yeah, uh, they're gonna happen more often, I guess, but not that often. Maybe just on Saturday night or, just, or something. Uh, when when my wife and kids are not around to annoy us and uh, interrupt. Not annoy. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me, wife. She's not here at the moment. But, uh, yeah, so... That was the only new segment. The new camera and the, um, the live stream thing. Yeah, it's not. It's gonna be uh, kind of relaxed, so I don't talk that much while I work, and I work slow. But anyways, I'm just uh, babbling here, I guess. It's time to show you guys the kit that I bought and got. Um, yeah, most of this, what you're about to see, is not my fault. Um, Uh, most of it was actually bought in the last the, the last couple of weeks because uh, February is my birthday month, so I'm treating myself a little bit. But yeah, I also got some kids early in January, so let's get started with this thing. Uh, of course, there was a battleship Yamato. Just bought that the other day, and uh, for the for the floaty thing group build. And at the same time, I saw this in the shelf, and it was just too cheap not to buy it. It looks like an old kit from somewhere. I forgot. I looked it up on Scalemates. It's a it's a old moldings from some obscure manufacturer that I have had never heard of before. But it looks like a nice little kit. It's going to be a nice tiny little tank, and uh, it's about the pretty close to being the same size as the FT-17 which is uh, tiny as you can see here it's only 14 centimeters long when it's built up but it's a tiny cool little tank and it has a Romanian option which I might build because it's a little different than the than the German my, my 135th scale shelf is almost exclusively German this time at, at this time I got other kits in the stash. Well yeah there's one Russian tank and then the rest is German. But let's see, yeah, so of course at work I picked this one up or had it <laughs> special ordered for me even from the Ford collection website. It's the Ford GT 2017 model and a snap kit from Revell. I did one of these kits last year of the um, the 2017 Ford Raptor, and they're nice little pickups, especially for me because I get them at cost uh, through my work because I work at a Ford dealership. And um, yeah, just if you can pick these guys up for uh, for a little little money, uh, do it because even though they're like this is pretty much a toy. Let's be honest. Um, took me 15 minutes to build the the Raptor, 
but then I took it all apart and customized it a lot, painted it and and did the interior and stuff. This is the entire amount of parts you get in the package, and it, it is yes, it is a toy. As you can see here, it has a blank underside, but it's pretty fun to do. I mean, if you actually modify it and you can spend a lot of time painting it and detailing it and and scratch building extra things and stuff and it, yeah it's just a fun thing to do a little different than like the hardcore model building and yeah so moving on I got a 172nd scale Corsair uh, it's basically the same Corsair that I previously got, which is uh, it's basically the same kit as this with a few extra extra parts to make it into the uh, later version, the FU4 instead of the 1A, and uh, it's just a different scheme up for the plane. And I really like the Corsairs; it's one of my favorite all-time planes all-time favorite planes so I just had to get it just had to there was no way around and yeah I had another big breakthrough we had a, my model store got a really good shipment going on from Revell so I picked this guy up and it's probably a little bit too big for the camera the Tiger 2 135th scale Henschel turret absolute something that I've been wanting in my Panzer collection for ever since I started collecting Panzers. I finally got one and it's not the best one but it's a pretty good one it's an ICM kit reboxed by Revell and I had a look inside the box and uh, only thing I can fault with it is that the side skirts the fenders are molded into the upper hull so if you want to remove them or one of them or something uh, it requires some work unnecessary extra work if you ask me you should have molded those separately but yeah if you remember the last update I bought a couple of uh, 144 scale jets and uh, kept that thing going bought the F-16 144 scale just to have it one of those things and last but not least, the kit that I've been waiting for since forever, since I first heard that they were that Revell was gonna make it, and it's 144 scale as well. And yeah, it is one of uh, kits like everybody has a Holy Grail kit, and uh. I didn't even realize this was my Holy Grail kit, I just really wanted it, but then I almost didn't have a chance to go get it. And uh, that's when I pretty much realized that uh, this is probably my Holy Grail kit. It's a jet, it's an Icelandic aircraft, and it's 144 scale, and it's huge. Mark was my favorite airplane favorite band can't even fit that thing in the frame my table is too small for it yes yeah, 50 centimeters long almost the Boeing 747 400 at force one as used by Iron Maiden on their 2016 the book of souls world tour as you can see right there and yeah my favorite band and an Icelandic plane that belongs to a company that was uh, started out in my hometown when I was a kid. The first Icelandic airline to buy a 747, I believe. I could be bullshitting, of course, but uh, that's what I think it was. And yeah, so I'm quite emotionally attached to this already. And. Uh, the great greatest part is that when I had a look inside the box, one of the landing gear struts is already broken, so I have to contact Ravel and try and get a replacement for that. 
but it's mine. It's finally mine. It's one of those things where I'm just materialistic as hell. I just had to have that thing. Um, but anyways, uh, that's everything, I guess. Uh, except for uh, if I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, I started actually started building one of the 144 scale jets that I bought last month. And I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, yep. Or we put it into a bag again. This is the MiG-29 that I got. The uh, the Russian stunt plane. And I put it back into the bag because I was just building it and wanted to have fun with it. Just It's supposed to be almost all white. A little blue, but almost all white. So it would have been an easy paint job. There's no cockpit in it. But then the nose just... You cannot see it of course but the nose of the plane just is not following the lines and you know, I kinda have to reshape that thing so I put it in a bag and started building the, the Tamiya that I showed you first so yeah oh yeah also got me one of those instead of my this one I used to use this Leatherman to cut off sprues and uh, it's okay, but it's kind of when you're doing a lot of things like um, track links and stuff, uh, this tiny scissors kind of hurt your finger and they don't cut through plastic uh, all that good. So I picked these up. These are Revell brand precision cutters, but they're kind of thick, but they work anyways. And they work really well. Um, hardly any effort cutting through plastic so I recommend people get these things um, I may be upgrading in soon to a uh, army painter one that I can get at my paint store but yeah anyways I don't know what the heck I'm saying anymore so time to end this update thank you guys for watching and I'm really trying to get some videos out for February, at least on the helicopter and the Yak Panzer. The Yak Panzer is pretty close to completion now. I said I was gonna make only two videos of that. I think I'm gonna stretch it to three because I'm a bad video maker. But the Yak Panzer video actually has the new camera swiveled around onto my paint booth over there, and there's a grand tour in the next video of the paint booth cardboard box. So that's something to look out for, look forward to, I guess. So yeah, I already had started saying goodbye to you guys, so thanks for watching, thanks for uh, watching. I'm totally suck at ending videos, so keep on having fun, keep on modeling. I'll see you guys on the next one, goodbye.